World Cup year, obviously you knew the focus was going to be on the limited overs part yes. of the tournament. And uh, well, Mohammad Shami is one name that really Big stands plus. out. That's why I said, are you talking about the test matches? The moment you, you say one day, yeah. the moment you say one day, Mohammad Shami has been the big plus. And when he, he he's bowling like he bowled in the World Cup of 2015. If you remember him yeah. and Umesh bowled beautifully yeah. in the World Cup of 2015. I mean, actually, you might know better since you know. I, I look at Shami, and the first thing that strikes me is, does he himself know how good he is? Because I've seen people in other walks of life who have no idea how good they are. And I get the feeling when I look at Shami, maybe he's actually better than he thinks he is because when he gets it right, he's, he's such a treat to watch. He is, but uh, like like any fast bowler, it's, it's it's always dependent on your how how your body is responding. You know, that's something a, a big uh, mental part, state as well. I mean, he's come through difficult per- things in difficulty in personal life. That that does play yeah. a part, but I think you know more more so uh, physically as well. You know, you 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 got to be. Uh, up there, uh, and and it's one-dimensional action, you know. So so you look at uh, tennis players for that matter, bowlers, you know, it's it's always one-dimensional, and it it takes a toll on your body, and the imbalances uh, then uh, then develop in your body, which uh, which results in injuries at times. So so that's something in in Shami's case also. So uh, if you look at 2015, after that he he got injured, uh, had a very bad knee injury, which uh, put him out for about a year, and then uh, after that he has shortened his run-up as well. So that's something you know the adjustment which he has done. He was going uh, through up and downs of uh, of, of life as How well, and just outside you, uh, cricket as well. So, that, yeah. uh, but he he always has a talent. Like you know, you you look at the release, the seam is upright. All you need is just uh, just the the rhythm to be there, the fitness needs to be there, and and he'll deliver. How many times in your career did you think, wow, man, my body is my slave. It can do what I want. Everything is right. Physically, I'm feeling top of the world, no niggle at all. I'm feeling great. Well, uh, there was a patch. I think that from 2006 uh, yeah. when I started playing county. So from that till about two. 2008-9 uh, till I uh, got injured in uh, in Australia again mm-hmm. uh, with plantar fascia. I was I was out for about uh, two and a half uh, two and a half months. Fabulous feeling. Huh? Till that point, it was like uh, I didn't have to. Uh, I could just wake up and <laughs> wake yeah. up from my sleep, go and bowl. It was as simple as that. I I was not feeling tired even though I was uh, bowling 20-25 yeah. hours in a day, and that's yeah. just the the rhythm. Reason I asked, I wonder if Shami is feeling like that now because he's he's, he's fit. Yeah. Yeah, looks well, like it. Looks yeah. like it for sure. Just short. one final point on a technical point. You know, when we saw Shami reversing the ball against the West Indies at the Eden Gardens, there were a lot of people saying, "Wow, we found ourselves a perfect Test match bowler." The question is, how will he bowl when he puts the blue jersey on? And the fact is, now he's put his hand up in that World Cup squad. So again, he's adaptable as well, despite everything else we're saying about him. Yes, I think he's he has uh, done it. He's, he's he's the quickest to get to hundred wickets as well, you know. So that shows. It's just that he's he's not been uh, part of the ODS uh, uh, ODS side for a while. But in terms of ability, he has he has always been there. You know? So so it's just about backing that. I I still feel that uh, the best way of utilizing Sami's uh, ability in ODI cricket is is to finish his quota of overs by by forty first, forty second overs. You know. So that's something. Which you can use him aggressively. You can look at him as as wicket taking option, and and his numbers also suggestive of that. You know, you uh, you've seen that in uh, last seven ODIs also he's taken 14 wickets. So you know, so, so along with Kuldeep and Chahal, you have one more option who can create that impact. That gives you uh, uh, liberty to use uh, use Bumrah in a in a uh, different manner as well. So that's something which uh, team management has to mull over. You know, we talk about the two wrist spinners. If you see what Australia said, if you see what New Zealand said. They talked about India's bowling. Traditionally, we've been a batting-dominated limited oversight. But over the last two series, the opposition captain has talked about India's bowling. And I think other than the two wrist spinners, Shami's had a big part to play. Now, if he continues bowling like this, you go to the World Cup. If you think Bhuvi needs a day off, you've got you've got Shami there. On a day that it's maybe it's a little cloudy and they're playing day games, maybe it's, a, it's a, uh, at, at the start there's some life. You can play all three. So suddenly Shami's giving you those options. And I think it's also fair to say that the others who were given the op- the option didn't take it. So I, I still won't be surprised if uh, if Umesh Yadav comes in and plays the one days against Australia and makes a case for himself.